So as you can see, the baby, and let me, as you can see, the baby is right here on the opposite side of the fence of his or her mama. And the mama is bellowing for her child. And is distressing the mama out. Now, I'm not sure why they put the baby on this side, but I'm pretty sure that eventually they're going to sell the calf because the in any dairy farm or in any even personal farm that, for example, the owners want the milk from the mother, they don't want the babies to suck up all the milk, and so they want the milk for themselves. So either they will use the colostrum or they will take the milk directly from the cow. I'm not sure how the colostrum actually works, but all I know, do know is that the humans want the milk for themselves. And so usually they separate the baby and or sometimes they even kill the baby. They even... They don't take the baby off to slaughter. And so this baby looks like a male baby. But in any case, the males will be either trucked off to slaughter at a very young age. Even on small small farms like this with one or two cows. Or they will be put into veal operation. Or if the baby is a female will go back into the dairy industry eventually. So they milk these cows manually, unlike industrial farms. And let's see a little bit about these animals, how beautiful they are. Now they have ropes attached to them, but they are not actually attached. You know, may, you know maybe it's used for to, to guide them, to hold them at times, but yeah, this is still a system where we're putting animals into unnatural situations. If they were roaming freely in the in nature, it would be a much different situation. Now, both animals are in distress. Now, the baby doesn't seem to be that much in distress. But the mother, for sure, yes, because it, the, the baby's on the other side of the fence. You can, cannot tend to her baby. And the baby cannot drink the milk from the mother, his or her mother, or actually it's his mother in this case because it uh, looks like a, a baby boy. And it's definitely going against their... See, look, she's crying, bellowing and crying for her baby. And very distressed and very... Yeah. And I'm not sure if the other cow is uh, related in any way to, to the other one. But in any case, it doesn't seem so distressed, but at least giving her support by being next to them. Now, the baby doesn't really know what to expect, but the baby may be hungry and can't get food from the mother. And so even in this small situation, there's going to be cruelty involved. In any glass of milk, and any cheese, and any thing that is made from these magnificent animals. A lot of times they're chained up. A lot of times, you know, they can't move anywhere. And look, there even the other one was bellowing. Wow. So don't buy dairy. Don't buy the lie. 
even organic small scale farms. It's not, it's not ethical. These animals are in distress. They're really stressed out. They're really crying and for their baby to be with them next to them at all times, not behind the fence where they can't even, can't even be with them. So please choose vegan. Vegan is love. Vegan means love. Vegan means to not eat anything that comes from an animal. Not the flesh of animals, not the dairy, not the eggs, not the honey, nor clothing from animals. Silk, down, leather, fur, and animals in entertainment, animals for any reason. And so look what's happening here. They're trying to bond to each other. But the baby cannot go there to suckle on her mother. So they're going to try to do something. Let's see what they're going to do. Now, as you can see, these are barbed wire fences. So if they make a wrong move, they're in the metal. You know, they're in this metal. Now, animals are not stupid and they're not gonna get caught in these metals. But let's just see what happens. Let's take another angle shot here. As you can see, they're looking at me, but they know I'm not really a threat. What's really amazing is the baby has a heart shape white heart shape uh, on her on his forehead now they're trying to give comfort to each other but who knows what's really going to happen why they have separated baby from mama so the baby is coming close to me and understanding that I'm not really a threat here. I'm standing probably a meter or, or a meter and a half away from the baby, maybe two meters. So stressing that the baby can't go see his mother and suckle on his mother for milk. It's very, very stressing. Now I'm just here witnessing and documenting this for people to understand what's really going on in dairy production. Even in small scale, here are two cows and a baby. And a lot of the cows, the mother cows have horns, a lot of them. Now that one, that animal does not have. The baby is trusting me. See? But that cow does not have horns. So it must have been, looks like. The horns have been clipped off. I don't know if they bought the cow like that or not. And that doesn't looks like doesn't look like a female, it looks like a male. So
I've seen videos where the baby was trucked off to slaughter. And the mother was in distress, just like now. But also the baby was in distress. Now, of course, the baby is less in distress, but the baby and the mother want to be together. And because of this wire barbed fence, it's not possible. And now the baby might be, you know, might get trapped in, in, in this barbed wire. Now, I could literally just, you know, open something here and let baby and mother be together. But I don't want to get in trouble for messing with property, these animals that are considered property. I don't want to be, you know, getting myself into trouble. I, I mean, technically, I would love to just free them and let them you know be free in nature but unfortunately you know that's not how it is unfortunately because people would just steal them or kill them for food or you know they would know maybe it's me because they know that i'm the only guy here in the area that's vegan <laughs> or one of them actually because aurora is the other one and so fortunately these animals are enslaved Yes, and even though this is not a vegan farm, I'm actually uh, volunteering here. Of course, nothing to do with these animals, but I'm volunteering here at this place um, and doing the vegan part of it, the gardening, the far, you know, the gardening and farming aspect of it. So.